Washington State's big guns run on the defensive side of the line where the Cougs lead the conference in every major category. An opportunistic squad known as the Palouse Posse, they'll look to hogtie the Ducks for the first time since 1989. But the Cougar offense has struggled, and they'll need a big day from quarterback Chad Davis and company if they want to score another Pac-10 win. The Oregon Ducks take on the 20th ranked Washington State Cougars next on Prime Sports Northwest. Gets a couple and falls forward for about a four-yard gain on the first down. Oregon trying to establish the running game early on against a Cougar defense that is stingy against the run. Dwayne Patterson coming off a game last week in Knoxville, Tennessee, where he did not have a sack. But he had four against the Ducks a year ago. Childs, Darling, and Hayes. You'll also see, of course, Mark Fields in there. Torrey Hunter coming off a big game against Tennessee, joined by Walker rushing and Mobley in the defensive backfield. Second down and Graziani to throw and has the tight end Josh Wilcox who makes a nice catch and picks up a first down. First down, little pitch to Philia. He gets away from Chad Eaton in the backfield. Singor Mobley comes up to make the hit. Dwayne Sanders in on the play as well. Only 14% of third down conversions against the Cougars are turned around and Ronnie Childs has got to run into the end zone. Washington State's defense has done it again. and the defensive staff for Washington State guess absolutely right. Mark Fields just knifes in and jars the ball loose and Childs is right there for a Cougar touch. Washington State out in front of Oregon, 7-0 in the two losses by the Ducks. Turnovers killed Oregon, nine turnovers. They took better care of the football against Iowa and USC, but here on their first possession, Mark Fields causes the fumble and Ronnie Childs has a field day into the end zone for the score. Jones and Philia in the eye behind Graziani. That's Josh Wilcox, the tight end, coming in motion. Deep hand off to Philia, who might get a yard when it's all said and done. You see an adjustment there by Oregon, bringing the tight end in motion as a trap blocker, in essence. Let one of the defensive tackles come in, but they were unable to clean up on the linebackers. Looked like there was a little bit of running lane, but uh, Mark Fields again making a nice play. Dwayne Jones and... Philia, the lone setback behind Graziani. And a little draw handoff, and it's tough to run that type of play against this Washington State defense. Loss of a couple. Dwayne Patterson was in there with some penetration. Trying to run counter Trey, get the ball deep to the running back and let him run to daylight. Uh, Dwayne Sanders and company, no daylight to get to. Philia will try it the other way this time. And Chris Hayes fights off a blocker, and he's there to make the initial contact before a whole swarm of Crimson comes over to get Philia. One of the things that teams are doing is moving the tight end over to uh, Dwayne Pat Patterson's side because he's a little lighter of the two defensive ends, and Chris Hayes scoots outside, almost got a face mask there, but held his hands in enough where he didn't have to bring him down via the mask. Next to Tassi Malapiai. Graziani the throw, deep into the end zone. Brian Walker, interception, Washington State. Well, last week, Graziani with two interceptions, both in enemy territory, and this time, Oregon trying to work on the young guy, I guess. Everybody else in that secondary has been around forever. So try to pick on somebody that you haven't seen before, and that's a great play. Super position. First and 10 for the Ducks from their own 39, and O'Neal will hand off to Dino Filia, who tries to get outside and manages to pick up two, maybe three, on the carry. Second and seven for the Ducks. Filia went forward about a yard and then back about four. His progress will be spotted at about the 43 of Oregon. Mark Fields in there, along with Chris Hayes, a number of Cougars in on the stop. Well, right now, the Washington State defensive front four is winning the battle of the line of scrimmage. They are doing a great job, if not making tackles, blocking up. They're messing up all the blocking schemes right now. Eaton and Sasa in the middle are outstanding, very strong. And Eaton, I was very impressed last week with his ability to shed blockers and get to the ball. Probably the, the toughest middle the Cougars have ever had here. 
at Washington State on defensive line and middle linebacker. Third. First down, O'Neal to Philia. And Philia gets about a yard to the 49. A couple of Cougars got him high and low. Fields on the high side. Well, if you're Oregon, you have to feel a little bit better than you did in the first four minutes. You've stabilized the game a little bit. You're still not running the ball with tremendous effectiveness, but you've at least stabilized the game. You're down seven, you're still in it. You got your feet under yourself. I'll throw the short one. Hand off to the fullback, Jones, and he bangs his way forward close to the 45-yard line. Third and five. Here comes the blitz, and O'Neal eludes it for a moment, but not long enough. Chris Hayes was the first man in. He was followed by Ronnie Childs and Dwayne Sanders, Dwayne Patterson there as well. Welcome back to action, Danny O'Neill. See, that's the fullback, and he has to pick up that man, but the quickness and the speed was just too great. Jones and Philia behind O'Neill, and O'Neill will dump it out to Philia on the flat, and he loses his footing. I don't know what that one was supposed to be yet. That looked uh, like it was strange from the beginning. That was uh, Danny O'Neill wanting Philia to get hit and <laughs> not him. <laughs> that there's nothing here. He's trying to throw something to the out route, nothing there, and uh, Philia has just kind of slipped out, so he dumps it over the top. Second and 13 after the loss of three. This is Jones, the fullback, who gets about two and a half of those three back. And there is a look at Tony Graziani, the sophomore out of Modesto, who had a Cinderella story against USC, and it has changed to a bit of a nightmare today against Washington State. Ricketts, Johnson, and Damon Griffin, the wide receivers for the Ducks on third and ten. O'Neal trying to find some room, and he will not have any. Sacked back at the 19 by the Palouse Posse. Dwayne Patterson takes a little move inside the big tackle who's uh, Malapai, who's normally a guard, so not as used to the quickness that maybe you find out there at the defensive end. And For the Ducks, Dwayne Jones, Dino Filia on the backfield. The pitch back to Filia. Chris Hayes runs him out of bounds. Gain of about three yards on that play. Well, great job by Hayes, but again, I didn't think Filia helped Josh Wilcox, number 90, his tight end out here. In other words, give a little juke to the inside. There's it's just kind of straight running there, and Hayes was able to make a good play. Second and seven, they go to the fullback, Jones, who keeps hammering away and never does go to the ground. Call the line of scrimmage, the 35 for O'Neal. Christian Anderson in at tight end for the Ducks as well. Mark Fields on the linebacker sack. Again, they found that seam between guard and center. And the back can't get there right now. Nope, no chance. The back comes over the... Because of the lost yardage on the sacks, the Ducks now have seven yards rushing in this football game. Second and 20. Cougars fake the blitz. Don't come this time. And they still get to O'Neal. Dwayne Patterson with the initial contact. Chad Eaton, Donnie Sasa, Dwayne Sanders to apply the final hit. Another loss of five. Nobody getting open downfield. Ricketts, Griffin, some of the younger kids, Patrick Johnson. Like you said, these guys are all young. And well, It looks like Oregon uh, leading the two teams in the cart movement today as you see both the starting quarterback and the starting receiver Macklemore and Graziani having to be helped from the field and Danny O'Neill with Dino Filia in the backfield on first down Filia will try to get it outside gets away from Eaton but look at the pursuit by Washington State's defense four Cougars there to get Filia on the backfield the worst thing you can do offensively is being second in long yardage against Washington State. That's why Oregon is trying to run on first down. You can see nothing on the outside. It might be better trying to go at them and trying to tackle us because outside Washington State is so fast. Three of the last four plays by the Ducks have gone in reverse.